Good day, folks. So over the last couple of weeks, I've had some people ask me on social media and on YouTube how to import media files from an external drive into LumaFusion with the new iOS 13 update. It's actually very easy to do, and I thought I'd make a little quick video demonstrating how to do it. If you already know how to do it, you might want to skip this video as there won't be anything new for you in it. So let's just jump right in and take a look. So here in front of me, I've got my iPad Pro and I've got my SanDisk Extreme plugged in via USB-C port. And uh, we want to import some of the media that's on it into LumaFusion so we can edit it. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch our LumaFusion. Now the technique I'm going to show you here is based on the current version of LumaFusion. I'm not quite sure how the software developers at LumaFusion is going to incorporate drive support into LumaFusion. So this may change with future builds. So right now I've got this timeline. This was a video that I was working on. Uh, but say I want to add some more footage to it that's located on this drive. So normally when you're going to import media, you're going to click on the top right hand corner there. These are all our sources. And this is where things might change in the future. LumaFusion may add a way to access our external drives via the sources menu there. So until maybe they add those kind of changes, what we have to do is import the files in. This is our import tool here. So if we click on it, you can see here it gives us some different options for importing. What we're going to do is click on the iCloud drive. And it brings up this other information box here. It'll open up to your most recent directory that you were browsing. So from here, there's a couple different ways we can get to our SSD. We have a back button here at the top, or we can click on this browse button. If we click the browse button, you can see we get this new menu that slides over and here's all our locations and the extreme SSD is listed. That's my external drive. So I can click on it and then I can go to video. And you can see here are the clips that I want to maybe import in. So if we just want to import one of these files, all we have to do is double tap on it and it would automatically start to import it. But if we have multiple files we want to bring in at once, we can hit the select button there and then choose the files that we want to bring in. Once we've got them selected, we just hit the open button and it kind of takes a minute here for it to kind of gather up the information it needs. But you'll see here in a minute, it'll start to import them in. And there we go. You can see it's downloading the media. So it's going to download the media to our imported folder within the LumaFusion's file app. I'll show you where that is after just so you know. So in this file structure at the top, you can see we're in imported and iCloud drive. So what we can do is just grab one of the files and then bring it down into our timeline. Now, if you're moving on and you've done some editing and you want to get back to your imported media, all we have to do is click the top button there to bring up our sources and we just go back to imported. And you can see down here at the bottom is the two files that I brought in. You can finish rendering your movie and then export it. When you're done editing, if you now want to delete those two files that you've imported, basically all you're going to do is go to your files app. We're going to make sure we have on my iPad selected and we're going to find the folder called LumaFusion. We're going to go into it. Look for the folder called user media. So then we're going to look for iCloud Drive. You can see it there. And the reason it's in iCloud Drive is because that's how we imported it in. The tool that we used to import the files in was through iCloud Drive. So if we click on that folder, if we scroll through here, you're going to see those are the two files that we brought in. So we'll just hit the select. We'll select the two files. And then we just hit the delete button down here at the bottom. Just like that. So that's basically how you import media from an external drive to LumaFusion. Now, if you're a person who uses iMovie to edit your videos, you can kind of do it the same way. Let's launch iMovie here. We'll create a new project, create movie. This first screen here where we import our media, it doesn't give you any options to go into the files. So I'm just going to bring in any media for now. There we are here. But now if we click the plus sign, you can see here we have a files tab. We can click on it. And you can see here we have the same structure. We can go to Extreme SSD, Video, and you can see there that we can import our files directly from the SSD card. So once it's done downloading it, it's going to ask us what we want to do, add to movie, which is what most likely we're going to do, but it does give us a few more options as well. I'm just going to put add to movie, and you can see there's the uh, file that I brought in. So it's a very simple procedure, and I think as time goes on, software developers like LumaFusion are going to change the way maybe we can implement files off of external drives, make it a little bit easier in a few less steps. Well, folks, that's basically it for my video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos, and we'll see you in the next one.